Oh, she old. Yeah. I told you, I'm going to, I needed to get my head peeled. <laughs> needed it real bad. And uh, I wanted to share something with you. I wanted to read it to you. And may this reading be of comfort to you. I always found that in, in Psalm, well, the whole Bible is, is, is comforting. You know, just, but, you know, we, we often read the Psalms because there is a lot of comfort because it's the ones who wrote Psalms. It was David, uh, Asaph, and um, my mind's not working right. Kind of, I remember all the ones uh, else who wrote it, but, uh, but the main, one, main two, uh, David and Asaph, uh, the thing is, is they they wrote some. I mean, it, it's it's like it just hits home. You know what I mean? And uh, these are men, and we're just that men who've been through a lot of things, and it's just so comforting. And uh, oh, uh, to Arbright seventy nine, brother Roger, God bless you. I thank you for your your kind, comforting words. And I I know the Lord has a lot of things for you. Just keep up the work. Keep it up. Uh, oh, and then when I oh when I ever get to a chance, you know I've been busy, and uh, when I get a, a chance, I'll today, which is Monday. 11.04 a.m. right now, Central Time, uh, here in America. Uh, anyway, uh, today is the 1st of March. Oh, yeah. The big 03, that is on the 3rd. It's birthday time again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, just to get serious now. Let's, let's get into the word. Okay. Um, this is Psalm 17. Okay. And I'm going to start at verse 6. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thine ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that saveth by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye and hide me under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who can pass me about. They are enclosed in their own fat with their mouth. They speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. The sword that we have today is the word of the God here. The God, the Most High God. Um, verse 14. From men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures, they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babies. As for me, I behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. The resurrection's coming, my friends. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, don't it? So I thought I would share that with you. So may you have a good day, and may God bless you. And uh, again, uh, Roger, uh, don't don't give up. I mean, you know, I'll... <laughs> I'm going to be trying to get on Skype and because uh, I, I look forward to talking with you. You're, you're a good brother. So God bless you and shalom to everyone. And oh, uh, grandmother, raptures, shalom.
and thank you for your your videos that you've been doing. They're wonderful. Thank you. God bless you.